Ryan Marciniak is an astronomer with the Ontario Science Centre. He joins us in studio to break it all down. So good to see you again, Ryan. First off, uh, take us through this. A supermoon itself is not uncommon, but what makes this one significant? Well, the supermoon is when the moon reaches its closest point to the Earth for the entire year. We know the moon orbits the Earth once a month, and so every month it reaches its closest point called perigee and its furthest point called apogee. But for the year, tonight will be at its closest for the whole year, the wow. supermoon. Wow. And it just happens that we have an eclipse going on at the same time, which is incredible. Really cool stuff. You brought props, you're in your uniform, I love it. Mm -hmm. So the next question is, take me through what this all means, how it works. All right, so we know that the uh, moon orbits the Earth once a month, and occasionally it goes above the Earth's shadow and below the Earth's shadow. We know the Earth casts a shadow because it's a giant rock in space. But tonight specifically, as the moon goes behind the Earth, it's going to pass through the Earth's shadow. Okay. And that's what we call a lunar eclipse when we have this orientation of the sun, the Earth, and the moon all forming a straight line. The moon is going to go into the Earth's shadow and actually turn a deep red color. I was going to talk about that. This is yellow, but behind us we see it's... Mm -hmm. Red, lead red, why? It's the same reason that we see a deep red sunset. As the sun goes lower down to the horizon, the sunlight passes through the atmosphere and that's what causes it to turn that reddish hue. Now in this configuration, the moon, or excuse me, the sunlight passes through the atmosphere of the Earth, travels all the way to the moon, bounces off the moon and comes right back at us. And so we see this beautiful deep red colored moon. Oh man, let's talk about where and when people can see it tonight. What's the best place. Well, anybody across Canada can actually see uh, the lunar eclipse this evening. It, uh, in Toronto here, it's starting at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time, and its peak, what we call its totality, is going to happen at about 10.45. Okay. Uh, so anybody, even in BC, is able to see this eclipse, but they'll see it as the moon rises. They'll see that deep red color. Can you just walk out your front door and look up to the sky, pretty much? Absolutely. Because it's, it's a super moon, the moon's going to be about 30% brighter than it normally is, which means it will be brilliant up in the sky. You, uh, if, unless you were trying to avoid it, you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before you go, uh, tomorrow NASA is expected to make a, a big announcement, what they're calling a major science finding mm -hmm. about Mars. What are you hearing? I'm expecting that they're going to be announcing the discovery of flowing liquid water on Mars. Uh, the first question people ask is, isn't Mars too cold for that? Uh, but this water is very, very salty, almost what we would call briny water. And we expect that uh, they're going to announce tomorrow that they've found conclusive evidence of flowing water. And that's huge implications for potential life on Mars. Sounds like a pretty big deal indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's My a pleasure. pleasure.